What's up my freedom loving friend? Welcome back to my reacts channel where you and I get to watch videos together as I react calling out the lies and corruption of tyrants, calling out absurd woke BS, and also highlighting the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Today's a special day. We get to take a look at a video in the news of AOC getting arrested and pretending to be handcuffed. It's great. And I'll tell you what I think of the whole situation after we go through the news and we do a little uh, color commentary along the way. Uh, let's get into it. Oh, before we get to the video, just I, I found out about this like half an hour ago. I first saw it on the Daily Wire. I'll show you the headline here. Watch AOC pretends to be handcuffed as police arrest 17 House Democrats outside the Supreme Court of the United States. So the situation, you probably heard of it, but just quick recap. Roe v. Wade was overturned. Does that make abortion illegal? No. It takes the power out of the federal government, puts it in the hands of the state. Now, the leftist politicians don't like states having control because that's closer to people having control. They want the federal government, which is a little tyrannical, to have all the control. Therefore, they're pretty pissed off that Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Now, one of the... <laughs> most mentally deranged leftists there are in the political spectrum is AOC. So there is a protest today outside the Supreme Court, uh, maybe yesterday by the time you're watching this, and uh, police made some arrests. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, da -da -da -da. AOC and some other communist subverters, there's their names. So U.S. Capitol Police, this is what they put on Twitter. We made a total of 34 arrests for crowding, obstructing, or incommoding. I don't know what that is. Does that mean you're taking a dump somewhere you're not supposed to? That arrest includes 16 members of Congress. Great. Let's see AOC in action. God, who doesn't love AOC? I mean, what a great underdog story. She's a bartender. That's why she knows how to run a country. <laughs> there it is. Watch this again. We got it. Here's the important part. She's walking as though she's handcuffed. As we can clearly see, She's not handcuffed at all. This is how much these mental deranged lunatics victimize themselves. They get a, a sense of power out of victimizing themselves. It's not empowering. No, it's very disempowering to victimize yourself. But you, they, they believe they're powerful because they feel significant as they're screaming as the loudest victim, as they're blaming someone else for what they're doing to themselves. So one of the most victim things you can do is pretend to be handcuffed when you're clearly not. So she's <laughs> police escorting her away, walking as though she, she's handcuffed. And there it is. She just, <laughs> she couldn't help herself. My opinion, she's such a narcissist who gets her ego fed on a sense of significant significance. She just had to, become a little more significant in this moment of attention by holding her non-handcuffed hand back up in the air after she does that watch. Boom, right back to being handcuffed. These imaginary handcuffs, they are quite the invention, like they're working now, but then through mind control, these magic handcuffs, they, they let you unhandcuff yourself so you can raise your hand to connect with, I don't know, there's nobody really even over there. It'd be funny if like nobody's around and she's just doing that Joe Biden thing. Do you remember there was that video of Biden getting out of a limousine, I think during the presidential campaign, and you know, there's cameras facing him, gets out of the limo, waves to people, then the camera turns around, shows nobody was there. I don't know if that's what's happening here or not, but it'd be great. <laughs> She's pretending to be handcuffed. This is, it's poetry. This is the same person who pretended to be murdered. 
you know, back January 2021, when people went into the Capitol. I don't use the term storm the Capitol, but when people went into the Capitol, she claimed that people attempted to murder her. She even claimed that Ted Cruz attempted to murder her when people went into the Capitol. She wasn't even in the Capitol. So she was, dude, she wears imaginary handcuffs and she translocates. That is amazing. This is a powerful woman, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know what a woman is, but this is a powerful woman. Man, oh, but I, we just have to look. I'm going to click on AOC's. Yeah, she has them. She, she's got her pronouns in her bio. That is great. Man, I've never been on her Twitter before. Probably never coming back. So she, her. I didn't know what to call AOC until I luckily click on her, her bio and look, dude, what a powerful statement. She, her. Dude, listing your pronouns in your bio, that's another act of victimization because you're acting as though you will be disempowered if you don't manipulate how people address you. Dude, you're either a victim or a, you're a master. You're not both at the same time. You get to choose. See how she chooses. And here, uh, just back on Twitter, there's another shot of her. Just close up of these imaginary handcuffs. Clearly nothing's there, but imaginary handcuffs, they work the same way. They come from the same basis of reality that uh, shows men can get pregnant. Um, men can menstruate. We don't know what a woman is. So this is actually, huh. Well, this is actually very congruent with who she is. I'm imagining I'm wearing handcuffs. I imagine men could get pregnant. I imagine I don't know what a wo woman is. This is great. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, <laughs> this picture. I, I love this picture. Here's why. It just shows her smug face. How would you like to be the guy who's engaged to AOC? She got engaged a few months ago. Dude, if you, you know how you, you see videos of her and pictures of her like yelling, like these big satanic eyes and snarled faces? How would you like to be the guy that she comes home to? Like she's literally a tyrant. I think your relationship's gonna go there, buddy. It's probably the most beta male in the world. I don't know that to be true, but I think it's a safe assumption. And by the way, AOC fiance, if you're watching this, I mean everything I just said. It is probably again, it's probably true. It's great. There's just her smug face, like guys, I'm really making a difference here. Yeah. I'm with you guys. Mm. <laughs> so disingenuous. Here's what I think of her whole arrest. First off, nothing but theater. Like she's quote unquote arrested. I don't think she's probably out like half hour later. There's some speculation. Was she even taken to jail or was she just escorted out of the street by police? I don't know, but I think she loves the theater. I think this is just all a manipulative act. Like they know there's a protest going on and they know like, okay, cool. We should, after they're out there, hot sun for a little while and, you know, block traffic enough that someone calls the police, then we're going to go insert ourselves. We'll be part of this and we can have our Martin Luther King Jr. moment. You know, where he's legitimately arrested for standing up for civil rights. She, they're probably like, dude, even better than being arrested for standing for something that matters. What if we stand for something that doesn't matter, but we try to capitalize on the, the theater of being arrested? Like, dude, I am willing to sacrifice myself for this cause. No, she's not. Is it for Believe in the cause or not. I don't think she genuinely cares about anyone other than herself. So back to my point, 
I don't think this arrest matters. Like, she's going to jail? No, no, like, she should go to jail for a long time for being a communist subverter, but she's not being arrested for that. So this is just a nothing but theater. She's not legitimately going to jail. She's not, like, America isn't saved from AOC. I mean, just the way we all think Fauci should be in jail. Like, no, no, no. this isn't that kind of jail. But to me, any time she does something in public, she's just damaging her reputation. So I think she thinks, I, I did this amazing thing. I stood up. I sacrificed myself. Got the, the you know, photo op of me going to jail in definitely handcuffs. But I think all, all that happens when her and tyrants do their theatrical stuff, the people who already are going to vote for him, whatever, you're going to keep voting for him. But people who might be like in the middle, they're pushed to the right because they see stuff like this and like, dude, like this is so disingenuous. I think the, the tyrants, the more they act and speak, the more it wakes people up. Because I want to share this with you. Over the past couple of years, but the world's changed in the past couple of years. It's... Um, yeah, sit down and sit with that. But the past couple of years, I've had so many people, including myself, they, they're like, dude, I used to be a liberal, but I'm a conservative now. I haven't had a single person who I've talked to who have said over the past couple of years, dude, I used to be a conservative, but now I'm a liberal. No, no, no. So I think the more these tyrants act, and disrespect people's intelligence like she's doing here. You're not in handcuffs, woman. The more they wake people up. So I think this is beautiful, but the jail thing, it's just theatrics. It doesn't matter. She's not not going to real jail for sure. Dude, what she gets like let's say she was taken to jail and she's in there for what, 15 minutes at the most? I want to hear her stories when she comes out. You know, this is the same woman who pretended like someone tried to kill her in the Capitol when she wasn't in the Capitol. She'd come out of jail like, dude, I was, I was in there for 50 years. How old are you? I don't like 29. Uh, and I was on death row. And, you know, they electrocuted me. They put me in the electric chair. <laughs> it was horrible. I feared for my life. Ted Cruz tried to kill me in the electric chair that I wasn't in. <sighs> it's great. So that's the deal. AOC's arrested. She pretends to be in handcuffs. I love it. Thank you for watching this with me. Oh, and there's a special thing I want to share with you. This channel, the JP Rex channel, I'm now taking applications for new sponsors. Now in my, you might have a company, you, this, is, this isn't gonna apply to most people, but I, I just wanna get the word out because I've been so proud to work with all the sponsors on my main channel, Awaken with JP. Problem with that is the, I love the sponsors so much and apparently I do a good enough job for them that they, they do really well, so my main channel is booked out over a year in advance for sponsorships. But this new channel, we've got new opportunities because we just started it. It's, it's doing super well, and thank you for that. Yeah, so we're just two, week, two and a half weeks in, over 140,000 subscribers, videos are getting great views. So I've got the opportunity for us to bring on more sponsors. But here's the thing. I say no to more sponsors than I've said yes to. First off, a company, before I even look at your product, you gotta be freedom aligned. You gotta support freedom of speech. You know I'm gonna, you have to know I'm gonna speak my mind. And if you have any problem with anything you imagine I could say, instead of encountering that problem, we're just not even gonna consider it. I'm not the guy to work with. And then second off, you've gotta have the, the company, the brand, they've got to have a product that I would genuinely use in my life authentically. So it means it's got to be a 
great product. It's got to be constructive for health, psychology. It's got to benefit people. It could be a great product, but if I wouldn't authentically use it, I'm going to say no. I've done that with a lot of companies. Like, dude, I think that is a very beneficial product. But the problem is, I wouldn't authentically use it in my life. So I want to be authentic. I want to stay congruent with people who watch me. And if, uh, even if it's great, high quality integrity, but I wouldn't use it, uh, it's you're just not the sponsor for me. So with that said, we have an application process. If you've got a company and you're, you want to inquire about what it looks like to advertise on the new exponentially growing JP Reacts channel. You can hit up the link in the description to submit your application and reach out. Love to hear from you and we can go from there. So with that said, thank you for walking through that little um, spiel I have. And if you're still with me, I wanna thank you once again for watching this AOC video with me, watching her get arrested and pretend to be handcuffed. It's great. I'll see you next time. New videos coming at you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay free, my friend.